Well, good morning and welcome to Grounded. You know, it's inevitable that we're going to experience mourning or, um, you know, bad things in Hardship, our life. Pain. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and because we, we lose loved ones, we lose jobs, you know, we have difficult relationships. Um, they happen, but it's true. We have hope because we have a great comforter in Jesus. He is a great comforter. Yes. And, um, not only is he our comforter, but he's our friend and our redeemer. And, uh, you know, John 10, 10 says that the thief, Satan, the enemy, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God gives us abundant life. We have abundant yes. life in Christ. We sure do. Yeah. Um, there's a verse that I want us to read this morning, backing up to everything that you just said. Yeah. And this verse gives us a lot of hope, regardless of our circumstances. It's a beautiful reminder um, that we can take what we believe to be a trying and impossible situation um, and believe that God can take that circumstance and make it something great for our good mm. and also for His glory. Mm. So if you'll turn to Isaiah 61, verse 3 with me. Mm. It says, To all who mourn in Israel, He will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. Mm. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for His own glory. Amen. What a promise. Such a promise. Such a promise. Yes. Yes, these are... These verses are just beautiful reminders of what God can do, what He does for us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so if we trust Him, we can just lay whatever's burdening, burdening us at the foot of the cross and uh, leave with shouts of praise because death and sin have been defeated. We can walk in yes. victory because of Christ, and He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever think or ask. Amen. Yeah, or imagine. Or imagine. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's so good. It's so so good. good. So the bottom line, trust Him with your life. Yeah. What do you need to lay at the foot of the cross today? Yeah. Today. Mm. We're going to worship together, mm. and we want to encourage you to lay whatever it is you need to lay down at His feet. Yes. At the foot of the cross Where grace and suffering meet You have shown me your love Through the judgment you received And you've won Yes, you've won my heart. Now I can trade these ashes in for beauty. And wear forgiveness like a crown. Coming to kiss the feet of mercy. I lay You've won my 